Hi, happy healthy time to you all. This is Vijay, a fitness consultant. Uh, today, I am going to give you an excellent uh, smart 7 exercise or the 7 smart exercises that you can do to keep your strength, especially for your whole body because people are asking, Vijay, I want very simple exercises, no, don't want to complicate all these things. So I wanted 7 exercises that I have planned it for you all which that you can do it anywhere else which is very known very simple but it's important to do it with correct form okay and uh, this exercise are like one upper body and one lower body exercise and one core exercise and one back exercise you're going to do so that it gives you a proper recovery and you can modulate it according to your experience interest and your need okay the first exercise is for your squat that i'm going to show you in both ways actually the squat is like normal chair sitting squat or you can just avoid sitting on the chair only thing is knees not in the front and you're going to look straight, inhale and exhale. And you can do this with a static form which is called a static strength and isometric strength or you can do an isotonic strength. Okay, that's the first exercise. The second exercise for your shoulders which is a push-ups uh, which your hands normal like shoulder width. You go down 90 degree and come up. Inhale, you go down, exhale, you come up. Your shoulder, hip, all these things goes together as a complex and if you, if you want an isometric strength you can do this, hold. Uh, you can do both or you can do separate separately according to your requirement. The third exercise is your heel raise for your calf muscle which is just normally you can just uh, short stand with shoulder, shoulder stance. Raise up, breathe out, breathe in. Breathe out, breathe in. And very important muscle because uh, the calf muscle is a secondary heart we know and you are working in the major muscles and the postural muscles of the body. The fourth exercise is for your triceps, upper back and it works on your upper back muscle. You are in a seated position in a chair. Your hands are comfortably placed and looking straight, slightly come out of the body and, and you are going to end, bend the elbows and go up. Going down is inhalation, come up exhalation. Here you can hold it and you can just be there. Only thing is don't try to go down below your elbows so that you will get strain on the shoulder. It's an excellent upper back and tricep exercise. These four exercises you see like your heart rate can be pushed up by doing a circuit or you can just do it separate separately. There are unlimited forms and modes and methods that you can follow. In some exercises you can have resistance by having an ankle weights, dumbbell, resistant tubes. There are unlimited variations. These are a lower and upper body variation. The fourth, uh, fifth exercise is going to be your abdomen, which is very, very interesting exercise. It's a normal ex uh, abdominal exercise. You're going to face up with the knees bent, hands crossed. You're going to do a crunch. Breathe out, breathe in. Breathe out, breathe in. You can hold it up and then do it or you can do a, a up and down as a dynamic form. So here it's dynamic and static. And when you finish this and, and the sixth exercise for your back, spine extension. You're going to face down, hands touching the ears, you're going to raise up, down. Here it is inhale when you come up, exhale when you go down. Don't try to do the neck up and down. And here you can do the static hold. Your legs are fixed, you're not going to do shake with your abdomen and legs. And uh, to complete, there is one isometric exercise that you would always say, the seventh one, which is called an iron man, iron woman if you are a woman. And this is going to be a plank where it, go, it covers your whole body core muscles. So, you can you can uh, cover your uh, postural muscle as well as your spine strength can be also added, which is an iron man. A plank which is shoulder width, you are not dropping the hip down, which is slightly up is also fine and you are looking down. Your timing, your repetitions, all these things can be kept comfortably according to your requirement, according to your experience. Your trainer may advise you better. I would suggest you to keep it comfortably like 8 to 10 repetitions or 10 to 15 repetitions according to the hold or static. And to complete it or to give you a relaxation or to give you a neutralization exercise, the one exercise that you can add always after any exercise program is a pelvic bridge. Uh, after the 7, you can just do this to relax your back. This is up and down or you can even hold it and do this. It's called pelvic bridge and uh, these are the seven uh, exercises that you can do for your strength conditioning because when you do these seven exercises, you will work on your whole body and this is more than enough for somebody to keep your strength and uh, maintain your strength throughout your life. You can add weights if you are interested. I hope this is very clear. And you can, you can definitely share this video to your friends so that they can use it forever. And it is very simple. If you have a doubt on this exercise, you can just comment me. I can definitely give you more clarification towards you. Experience. Have a great experience by doing this exercise. Keep strong. Keep healthy. Love you all so much. See you soon with another video. Love you all. Bye-bye.